Hey, it's Kevin McCarthy and welcome to another day in real estate. This week uh, we're closing on this house and getting started on a flip. Tomorrow we will be in here starting the demo of this project and uh, I think this thing is going to turn around real nice. So the kitchen is the first place that we're going to start. This whole thing is coming out, all these old cabinets gone. It's too small, so where the refrigerator is now, we're actually gonna move it over here. I'm gonna get rid of this door and turn it into a single door on this side. The refrigerator is gonna slide in right here. And this way it pushes back, so it looks like a counter depth. You'll actually be able to get a good size refrigerator in here. So it'll give us all the additional counter space on this side. Put in the 42 inch cabinets, take them all the way to the ceiling, remove the popcorn. So we put it in a, a nice vent hood microwave, some nice countertops, some white contemporary style uh, cabinets, and this kitchen will look really good. So right here, this is the laundry room right off the kitchen. You got doors that open and enter both ways, which will kind of crowd out this laundry room a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hang a barn door right here that slides open and shut. Hey, it'll look really cool, and in small spaces, the barn door is really set off the room. So I think it'll look really cool right here. So in here, since we're going to tile the floor, there won't have to be any separation in between, you know, for where the floor separates from the fireplace out of all the way up. And then right here, the the tile around the tile surround on the fireplace, we're going to use the same tile for the backsplash in the kitchen so that you can see it going across and it all kind of ties together real uniform. Where I'll have a custom made mantle that matches the cabinets in there. So the whole downstairs kind of ties together and looks really good. So this door, all jacked up. This whole thing really messed up. There was obviously some domestic disturbance stuff going on at this house at some point. Uh, or maybe a police battering ram, I'm not sure. But anyway, this is all jacked up. I'm going to have to replace this door from here all the way across. So we'll get a nice rain glass uh, side panel with a, with a door and probably a, a window or something that we haven't picked out yet. But this thing is going to look really nice and it'll be the first thing you see when you come into the house. So we actually lucked out on this one because they put in these brand new really nice toilets in this house, which we will reuse um, when we flip. That these uh, the cabinets are both the same in the bathrooms. They're going to come out because we're going to have to redo the floors. Whoever put this floor in did a really bad job. They didn't put any sub any base floor, so all the tiles cracking. So it's got to be redone properly. In this era of house, for some reason, MPC felt like they didn't need to put in boxes for the lights. They were so cheap that they ran everything off of the light switch to one outlet where somebody could plug in a lamp. And all the bedrooms are like that. So I'm going to have to bring an electrician in here to put in boxes so I can put ceiling fans in these bedrooms. Here in the backyard there's uh, quite a bit of junk. And I can definitely smell that something is dead back here. It's probably underneath this uh, plywood deck that these people built. This thing, this whole thing is going to have to go. That way we can get to the siding and do the, the necessary repairs. So we're going to get the front of this house looking nice with some new light fixtures, flower beds, and redo the landscaping. It'll probably be one of the last things that we do here. But I think this thing is going to turn out really nice. It's already got you know, some architectural features that are really cool. So we're going to work with that and make it look really neat. Thanks again for watching my video blog. It's Kevin McCarthy, and I'll see you next time.